So what we got is x squared is equal to 4, and we solve for that by taking the square root of both sides or by factoring. So what we got is x is equal to plus or minus 2. Now, as we talked about before, what this is is just one box. Something equals another thing. All it is is just one function, function going on this side, which is 4, and one function going on that side, which is x squared, right? So each one of these on either side represents a function. Graphically, if you want to, uh, if you want to visualize it, we're going to do it. But right now, all they are is just functions, right? This function over here is x squared, and that function over there is just, um, just 4. And x squared is a parabola. It grabs a parabola. It's a quadratic equation. And that one is uh, the function equaling 4. It's just a, it's just a horizontal line. Okay, and we'll talk about the stuff when we get into the polynomials and start graphing polynomials. And just doing our terminology, all I did when we talked about the, you know, the terminology of polynomials, all I said was just f of x is equal to f of x is equal to x squared. Okay, so that's one function, and f of x is just our y term, right? And that one is h of x is equal to 4, which is, you know, a symbol for a different function. I could have called that one f of x. I could have called that one h of x. I'm just, you know, using f and h just to make sure we distinguish between the two, right? Now, let's graph that function, and then we'll graph that function as well. And you're going to see that all this is saying is, is asking the question, when does f of x equal h of x? When does f of x cross h of x? When are the x and y coordinates in this function equal to the x and y coordinates in this function? Okay. So what we have here is just the x, y coordinate system, right? The Cartesian coordinate system. So what we're going to do, we're going to graph f of x is equal to x squared. And f of x is equal to x squared, and we haven't gone into graphing quadratic equations yet. But one way you could do it is you could do a table of contents where you, you know, plug in values for x and just do it and figure out what f of x is. And you know, some, you know, initially when they start teaching about functions, that's what you end up doing, right? So what you could do is do, oops, let's do it over here. So what you could do is plug in values for x in your function. So over here, for x equals 0, you're going to go f of 0, and that's the, uh, that's the terminology that you end up using. And we'll talk about this a lot further. Okay. But all you do is just say f of 0. So when you plug in x squared, so 0 squared is just going to be 0. So f of x is going to be 0 when x is 0. So basically means y is 0 when x is 0. When you plug in 1 for x, 1 squared is going to be 1, and so that means f of 1 is going to be 1, so y is going to be 1, and if you plug in 2, 2 squared is going to be uh, 4, so when x is 2, y is 4. Now, that's also true for when x is negative 1, so for the x term, we're, we're testing five different points, okay? We're going to go plus and minus 1, plus and minus 2. So when x is positive 1, y is positive 1. When x is negative 1, y is positive 1. Same with uh, 2. Positive 2 gives you 4. Negative 2 gives you 4 because a negative number squared is just positive, right? It's just 4. So what we're going to do right now is graph that, those coordinates on our Cartesian coordinate system, okay? So 0, 0 becomes, is here, x is 1, y is 1. That point is there. When x is negative 1, y is positive 1. When x is positive 2, y is positive 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. When x is negative 2, y is positive 4. And what you do now is just draw your parabola. Connect the dots, right? So what we have is our first function, which is f of x is equal to x squared. And that's just a parabola that goes through the vertex, right? 
uh, goes through, um, what do you call it? The crosshairs, I forget what the term is. Uh, goes through the origin. So it's just a parabola that goes through the origin, right? Let's graph h of x now. Now h of x is just a line. All that means is y is 4 everywhere. Okay. Now some people have a hard time with this. Um, the way they do it, I'm going to do this in green. Should I do it in green? Let's do it in pink. We're going to do this in pink. Okay. So all that means is h of x is equal to 4. It means everywhere y is 4, irrelevant of what x is. So if x is 0, because there is no x term on this side, right? So if x is 0, y is 4, x is 2, y is 4, x is infinity, y is 4, x is negative infinity, y is 4, right? So the way you graph this, it just becomes a horizontal line on the y-axis. So y is 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. It's not just a dot, because if it was just a dot, that would mean at x equals 0, y is 4. It's y equals 4 everywhere, so it becomes this. So what we have right now, we just graph h of x is equal to 4, right? And the y-axis is both h of x and f of x, right? And what we end up getting is, we're answering the question of when is f of X, x squared equal to 4, it happens when at those two coordinates, when the two lines, two functions cross each other, right? And the coordinates for those functions is x, x is 1, 2, and y is 4. Over here, x is negative 2, y is 4. So what we've done is find the x points where x squared is equal to 4, which is really just a function, right? So this is the most simplistic form, but when you get into more complicated functions, what you can do is have different shapes, different polynomials, or different, you know, they don't have to be polynomials, different functions crossing each other and what you're doing is when they give you something extremely complicated on this side and extremely complicated on this side you know when you know a whole bunch of things over here equal a whole bunch of things over there all they're asking you is what is this function when does this function cross this function and sometimes you get multiple answers to this sometimes for, for our case right now we ended up with two solutions right because a parabola crossing a line crossing a parabola it crossed at two points. Now the line could maybe cross at one point if it was asymptotic to it, uh, sorry, tangent to it, right? Or it could cross it, or it might not cross it. If the line was down here, for example, if you had x squared is equal to negative four, well, if you brought, actually let's do that one, right? If you had x squared is equal to negative four, if you brought the negative four over, it becomes x squared plus four equals zero. And as we talked about before, you can't factor two things that are added together. You can only factor two things that are subtracted from each other. The reason being is, if on this side, if you had x squared is equal to negative four, if you took the square root of both sides, based on the real number set, because we're just functioning in the real number world right now, in the real number realm right now, you can't take the square root of a negative number. And what would happen is your function over here uh, h of h of x would actually be h of x is equal to negative four. So your hor your horizontal line would drop down here. That means the line would not cross your parabola. So there would be no solutions for that, right? Now let's let's just go lay out a uh, more complicated question. Uh, and I don't think we're going to solve it, but we'll just lay it out just to explain what it uh, you know what it might look like.